What's up guys, Target here, showing you how to make an energy ball in Adobe After Effects CS5. This is my second After Effects tutorial, so uh, let's just uh, get this started. First of all, click New Composition. Yes, we are going to make a new composition. And we'll call this Energy Ball. I am so good at naming these. Energy Ball in one word, apparently. And uh, we are going to choose the HDTV. 1920 by 1080, sorry, 1080, and 25 frames per second, black. Okay. Now let's import our clip. So I have it lying right here. My very, very um, talented actor here, uh, pretending to shoot an energy ball. Uh, just double click on the clip like we did in the last tutorial, and you could scrub through here, and you can find the take that you like. Okay, let's just go with the second one. Let's go with this one. Yes. Okay, so we'll just drag the start and this the beginning of this to this point and find where you want to end it. Let's just say that would be here and drag the end of the clip. Okay, now click on this little button, ripple insert edit. This will insert it as a layer. Now we can drag uh, this work area down to fit our clip, right click on it, say trim to comp to work area, now our comp is this length. Okay, so now we have something to work with. First of all, my actor is standing in front of a green screen, I'll just key him out and place him in front of a background, so I'll fo fast forward through this. Okay, so now that this is done, we can continue. If you want to know how to key out a green screen, watch my previous tutorial. I know this is very random and the background has animals that should be uh, moving and the keying is very, very bad, but I did this very quickly, so we can continue on the tutorial. Okay, <clears throat> now what we want to do is rename our layers so we can uh, keep this in order. We'll call this footage and we'll call this background BG. Okay, now we want to create our energy ball shooting out. No, first of all, sorry, we uh, want him to like quickly, quickly throw his hands up like this and shoot out an energy ball, not like this show motion, uh, this slow motion he's uh, doing right now. So, what we want to do is change the time so go to, uh, right click on your layer go to time enable time remapping this allows you to change some periods of time and make them faster or slower so first of all set a keyframe from in this beginning and the end of your clip if they ain't already there i'll just do this right now like this okay excellent now we'll set a keyframe where we want it to start being very fast. So we'll set a keyframe here, go to where we want it to be normal time again, set a keyframe here. Now we'll take the, this, uh, these last two keyframes and we'll move them in. So now this motion, um, that was a bit too much, like this. So now this motion happens really quickly. Let's try to preview this. That looks pretty good. Maybe we'll make it three frames like this. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, now that that is done, we wanna create the energy ball. So to do this, go to new solid. Right click new solid, sorry. And we can re name this ball and make the color like let's do a orangey kind of color like something like this make it a little bit darker than what you want because you're gonna set the blending mode to add so that will lighten it up make comp size and click ok 
So now we have this orange box <laughs> filling the image. That is obviously not what we want. So up here where it says rectangle tool, if you hold down the mouse button, click and hold down the mouse button and go to ellipse tool, you can now draw ellipses filling out this shape. So if you click and drag and hold down shift, you can make this even shape. We'll just make something like this size. Okay, great. Right now you don't have to do it any near his hands or anything. We'll do that later. So now you ha when you have this, you can, let's say, make another copy of it. Control D to duplicate the footage. Go to the first one, hit MM. This will bring up the mask feather properties and all of the other mask properties. And th then you can feather this out. This will create this blurry kind of feeling. First of, uh, before we start feathering and stuff, let's change the transfer mode. So go to this toggle switches slash modes. If you don't have these uh, mode um, kind of buttons, then you can toggle them on and off here. I'll just toggle them on and then change from normal to add on both of them. This uh, will give it the, the uh, footage like the glow. Now we'll feather this out and all of a sudden this looks really cool. We, we can take the uh, the top one, duplicate it once more, control D, hit MM on the middle one and just feather that a little bit less, like this. Top one, control D, take the one right beneath and then feather this a little bit. And then we can maybe take this top one and we can hit mm then take the expansion in like so first of all we can uh, yeah sh yeah we could change the color a bit so we could go to layer solid settings change the color maybe to something a little bit darker okay okay and then we could uh, feather it out or something just play around with these settings to create kind of a cool effect we could add some color correction and stuff but this looks pretty good for right now then what we want to do is we want to create kind of this random feeling uh, to this energy ball so on this top layer we can type in in the effect, effects and pre uh, presets, fractal. Then we can take the fractal noise and drag it onto our layer. This is a plugin that creates random shapes based on the object. First of all, we'll change the transfer mode back to normal. You can see this cloudy kind of shape appearing. Bring up the contrast. We want this to be very contrasted so you can see it when we change the transfer mode. Change it to, let's say, dynamic. That's a kind of cool look. So when you uh, animate the evolution later, it will have, have this kind of funny distortion. Okay, you can adjust in brightness and maybe invert it, play around with these kind of uh, noise types and fractal types and stuff to make it look really cool and to make it have the look that you want. Also, the complexity is a great way to change how this looks.